Like I felt was good, was good, peace, love, and light. Was good, family, was good, does nation, man. Welcome back to another video. So this video topic is gonna be very important. This is gonna be for the men, strictly for the fellas. But I know that I have a lot of beautiful, lovely women on my channel. And so I got a lot of goddesses that are, might be interested in this type of content as well. So ladies, if you do wanna stay and watch this video, you're more than welcome to. But as far as the content for this particular video, this is for the men, right? And so today I wanna to talk to you guys about what it means to be a high value man, what it means to be a high value male, how can you become a high value male? And this video will show you if you are already a high value male. Now, a lot of people talk about this topic and you might hear this sequence of words get said a lot, high value male, high value male. What exactly does that mean? Some people think that that's mainly on status and finances, especially because of the red pill movement a lot of people talk about women's high, hypergamy and things of that nature. And so what a lot of men uh, place their personal value on is finances. And so we're definitely going to dive into that a lot in this video. I'm going to round it off and dive in a little bit more deeper and tell you what exactly does it mean to be high value? Um, what exactly does it mean to actually be an honorable man? So, you know what I'm saying? Let's get right into the video. I wake up, flex, I'm down that check. No drip this. Tell them run it up. No sleep. Might crash, might wreck. But first die, stretch. Tell them run it up. Alright, fellas. So, number one, as a man, you must always find your purpose. And if you do not know what your purpose is, you need to figure it out. And so. What I'm gonna start off with this particular key point, right? So number one, by, by finding your purpose is that you need to understand the dichotomy between feminine and masculine. And so we are two different polar opposites. When we come together, this is when we can create life, right? And so this union is actually very important. And so with that being said, it's important to understand that we are two completely different. And so these days, a lot of men are more in their feminine energy and on the vice versa, and a lot of women are more in their masculine. And as a man, our purpose and our mission is the most important thing. Actually, to us, it is our top priority, even over starting a family. Not saying that, you know, many men don't want families and kids, we do, but a man does not feel like a man if he's not on a mission, if he's not on a conquest. And so, a perfect example of this, right, is when a man's finances are not straight, we're not happy. We don't even want to give up the dick. We don't want to do nothing. I know uh, personally, I could talk for myself. Whenever my finances weren't straight, you feel me? I wasn't giving my shorty nothing. And that's because as a man, you, our worth, un unfortunately, a lot of us place our worth in finances, right? And so I'm gonna tell you why you, you, you shouldn't exactly do that in a little bit, but you must find your purpose. And your purpose is going to make you money for the most part, as long as you're actually providing value to people. And so as a man, we must always be clear of what our mission is and what our purpose is. And as we're progressing and moving towards that mission and missions, because the journey never ends. As you're progressing and you're moving towards your mission and you're fulfilling your purpose as a man, that is going to make you high value. A man that's on a mission, a man that is focused is a high value male because he does not get distracted by other little distractions such as, you know, women that have nothing to offer or just other little things like, for example, you feel like the boys are always going out to a party, but you got work to do. And so you may be in a better position and can actually afford to go to that party. Meanwhile, your friends are in a way worse position and they're going to the party. So it's all about being focused, being on your mission, being on your purpose. And so there are a lot of you that, you know, I've, I've consulted quite a few men way older than me that have told me that, you, yo, you know, like I kind of want to do this. I kind of want to start a blog or a channel or whatever and I just don't know what to do. So if you don't know what to do, you need to actually sit down, spend time with yourself and figure out above all, what makes you happy. And once you figure out what, what genuinely makes you happy, what genuinely spash, uh, sparks that passion in you, you can now progressively move forward 
to monetize that because as you guys always hear me say you have the you have a gift and a talent that people on this planet needs okay so number one is finding your purpose figuring out what your purpose is a man on a mission is a dangerous man I'm telling you right now a focused man on his mission is a dangerous man so that's the number one key point that I want to talk to you guys about how to be a high value male you cannot be waking up every single day not knowing what you're going to do you have to write down your plans you have to visualize yourself in the desired position that you want to be and then you have to work towards that every single day be on your purpose be on your mission i'm not saying that you can't enjoy life but if you're in a situation right now to where you're not stable you you may have to stick your nose down in the dirt for two three four five years until you can get to where you need to be and and get your life straight that's number one now i want to expand upon this a little bit more before i go on to number two and so out of respect for your time i'm going to make this brief now as i just said a lot of men we place our value on our finances and so it's funny because i was actually talking to a friend of mine yesterday he's a very very successful youtuber makes a lot of money and so i was having a discussion with him and i was telling him about how you're not a high value male because you have a lot of money there's a lot of people that have a lot of money that are stupid that are empty inside that are shallow that are unfulfilled and this is why you see a lot of millionaires actually commit suicide and so what's important to notice is that your value is predicated upon what you can offer who you can serve who you can help what service can you provide right because let's say that we were to take away all fiat currency today right fiat meaning that that the currency is not backed up on anything all right and so if, if you were to take all of that money out of your account right now and see that digital number go to zero what what would you have to offer what would you have to offer I'll give you an example you see a lot of people that get money quick for example people that win the lotto they be broke within like a year but if you take a wealthy a truly wealthy person's um, assets away money away they'll they'll re-up and be rich within a year or two again why it's the mindset they realize that they are the value they realize that they are the wealth and so they've invested in themselves to where they are the commodity they are the asset and so regardless of financial prosperity they understand that they've educated themselves they've had certain experiences their high value and so they can always offer a trade or they can always provide a service all right and so this is how you know that you are a high value male money does not make you high value what you can offer what you can provide who you can serve the type of man that you are the type of person that you are makes you high value all right so that's number one in its entirety is a man on his mission a man focused on, on a mission or his purpose get in your purpose all right so moving into number two a man that has mastered his sexuality okay Number two is master your sexuality. Now, what do I mean by this, right? <laughs> what you gotta understand is that everything done in this 3D, in this experience, in this dimension, is done by sex. Everything is moved by sex. If you take away this jewelry, this shirt, the houses, the cars that we all have, we're still primitive in our nature, okay? And so we're all trying to self-preserve and spill our seed even more, especially men, because men are naturally polygamous, right? And so we can constantly move on from woman to woman and spill our seed without thinking anything of it. Once you master your, your sexuality, little temptations don't get to you as much anymore. And a good book that um, talks about this is actually Think and Grow Rich. It teaches you how to transmute your sexual energy into task and endeavors that you have and so a lot of men especially men my age in 20s and younger we spend a lot of our time spilling our seed chasing women masturbation you know what i'm saying all these different things and we're spilling our life force constantly every single day and so what if you were to hold on to that energy and you know what i'm saying put that energy towards your business or towards school or towards whatever you want to do that's actually productive and so a man that cannot be swayed by a woman and that's focused on his purpose or mission is a dangerous man 
I'll say it again. A man that cannot be swayed by a woman or that is focused on his purpose, you know what I'm saying, and mission is a dangerous man. And so one way that you can truly master your sexuality is by, you know what I'm saying, de decluttering your mind. A lot of us are exposed to sex, 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 especially in the United States. It's in TV, magazines, the media, the music that we consume. A lot of us overwatch porn, excessively ejaculate. Stuff like that is gonna condition your subconscious mind to, from the second you see an attractive woman, you got a hard on and you're thinking about just spilling. That's gonna make you weak. If you're always just thinking about spilling, that's gonna make you weak. And so you need to learn how to actually interact with women and understand that <laughs> the majority of the encounter, the majority of, of the, the sexual encounter with women is mental and so you can make a woman get off before you even get to the crib which is actually one of my personal favorite things to do right and so you can actually make her nut by just talking to her just off the strength of your aura your presence you feel me and your swag honestly and so a lot of us men are just completely over over stimulated and so we don't know how to master our root chakra our root chakra is unbalanced we don't know how to master our sexual energy which is the most powerful energy in this universe because it is a creative energy you know that you are a, a high value male when you have mastered your root chakra balanced your root chakra mastered your your sexual energy that moves you that driving force everything on this planet is done for a woman i don't care how red pill you are i don't think i don't, I don't care what you think okay sex moves everybody period and so when you can master this element of yourself that is very natural you are a high value male understand that okay moving into number three man number three is understanding feminine nature now in this particular video right what i want you guys to understand and i'm talking to the to the heterosexual uh masculine man right now you feel me if you are somebody that's gay you can still learn a lot from this video but for this video i'm talking to heterosexual masculine men so what you have to understand right is that masculine masculine energy and feminine energy are two completely different things now what i mean by understanding feminine energy and nature is that as a high value male you're not going to be angry or completely bothered when a woman does what a woman is supposed to do by her nature you have to understand how females are and so i always say that a man doesn't even truly know if he is a man without a woman because a woman by her very nature will test you until the end of times okay there's two things that will always test you this world and your woman okay and so your woman traditionally had to you know absolutely believe and trust that you can actually provide for the family as a keystone member of the family and protect and so a woman is always going to constantly test you with little games just to see if you are who you say you are if you are truly a man can you actually hold it down and so when you understand female nature when, when you understand women nature a lot of things are not gonna upset you because you already know the dichotomy between masculine and women women are are extremely emotional never 100 percent trust what a woman says because when she's saying that in that present time she's saying that based off of how she feels emotionally but if you do something it, if you fuck up it can change like that and so understand that women are are emotional and i'm not saying that men aren't emotional but the majority of women are more emotional than men and that's okay it's just it's just different natures it's different natures men and women think differently and there, there's nothing wrong with that it's just we're different and so you have to understand women nature and really understand how to cater to to your goddess or goddesses depending on what whatever type of lifestyle that you live and so once you understand women nature you're not going to be <laughs> constantly chasing women you're, you're not going to be constantly blowing your load or you know what i'm saying just doing things that ultimately don't serve you 
And once you understand women nature or feminine nature, you are gonna become a high value male. And if you already understand women nature, you are already a high value male. Number four, man, become a man of service. You guys always hear me talk about this. I say that you have a gift or talent that the world is dying to see and meet, right? And so what I mean by becoming a man of service is this. We all have something inside of us that we can offer. I always personally say we, we all have a couple of books inside of us. We all have unique experiences and knowledge inside of our mind that you can monetize, that you can offer, that you can you know serve somebody with. And this is what makes you a high value male is understanding that we were come we came here to serve ultimately to help people to help other people become better it's not it's not all about us and it's interesting as i go down this list you're going to see how everything is cohesive because when you're adding value your finances are going to be straight you feel me when you're serving people you're on your purpose you understand what i'm saying so you you got to understand when you're doing these things when you're on your purpose when you're a man of service everything will be in balance everything will be cohesive in order to be effective and truly serve you have to master your sexuality you got to understand these different types of energies and so by being a man of service you, you acknowledge that yo the only way i'm truly going to get financial abundance the only true way i'm going to get fulfillment as a man the only true way I'm going to help as many people as I can is by being a man of service. What can you provide as a high value male? What is your purpose? How can you help people? And by understanding this, understanding that all of the greats contributed to society, contributed to whatever, that's how you become a high value male. And if you already understand this, then, then you are a high value male. <laughs> all right. So moving into number five man your word is bond okay now nothing turns off a woman more than a man that is too flimsy wishy-washy that can't keep his word if you tell somebody that you're going to do something die about it your word is bond and so as a man as a high value man your word means everything i'll give you an example i have i have literally left women before um that did not respect my time if i tell you that we have a date at four o'clock and you show up at, at 4 17 you're disrespecting my time and i don't play that i have a day last week where i made 1300 dollars in one day my time is very valuable and even if it wasn't about this fake money this fake currency do you know how many people i can help in an hour in two hours how many people i can serve in a day don't play with my time my word is bond if i say i'm gonna be there at four o'clock i'm gonna be there at four o'clock you feel me i'm honestly probably gonna be there at like 3 355 but i'm gonna pull up you know what i'm saying i'm gonna walk in like before four o'clock to make sure that i'm there and so as a man you have to be about your word if i say that i'm gonna do something for you i'm gonna do it for you and i'm gonna do it for you to the best of my ability and so you have to be about your word. If you say something, if you make a promise to somebody, honor that. Be an honorable man, have integrity with your word. Your word means everything, especially to your woman, especially to when you get to the place where you have kids and you have a family. If you tell your kids that you're gonna do something, if you tell your kids that you're gonna be at their game, do that. Because I promise you, if you don't, that's gonna affect your kids up until their teens, into when they became, when they become an adult honor your word you feel me that's a big one honor your word as a man your word is everything if you say that you're gonna do something do it and that's what makes you a high value man if you can't do something say you can't but honor your word and and this is something that i've learned over the years as well moving into the last one i could have made this list a lot longer but as i said out of respect for your times man um i'm gonna give you guys one more number six master your mental and your physical you see a lot of people and i always talk about this because my my health and wellness brand and business my motto is total health and I, and i always say that you can have amazing finances but your relationship is suffering 
you can have an amazing relationship but your finances is suffering you can have both but your physical body is suffering and so you have to master all, all these areas your physical your mental especially your your spiritual life right but but for now like we're just talking about the the physical i've told the women that i've been with um that you are not my first priority my first priority is my health my my health comes over my mother and i love my mama <laughs> i love my mom right but i'm no good to anybody if i have cancer or if i'm sick i can't run a business i can't serve my woman i can't serve my family i can't serve anybody if i'm not healthy and so you have to master your health what are you eating on the daily do you exercise do you stretch do you take time for your mind whether you believe in meditation or not do you just calm down and de-stress and relax and calm down what are you doing what are you doing every day relax exercise Take some time to actually work on your physical and don't always be on go mode. Work on your mind. What type of knowledge are you feeding yourself? Are you around healthy individuals that are keeping you accountable? Are you keeping yourself accountable? Did you do what you said that you were going to do last week? And so all of these things are cohesive. All, all of these things matter. And to the high value male, to the high value man, he understands that. And so you need to understand that without your vessel you can't do anything you can't reach that goal you can't be on your mission you can't master your sexuality because you can't even get it up you cannot serve because you can't even get out of bed you can't understand feminine nature because you can't even understand your own body you can't understand yourself and so you have to master all realms of yourself or at least be trying to because this is what the high value male understands you can always learn from somebody, you can always grow. And so you need to master your health and take care of your health. Work out, eat good, all right? And so, as I said, family, out of respect for you guys' time, this is how you know that you are a high value male. Th these are uh, characteristics of a high value male. So peace, love, and essential family. You know what I'm saying? I love you, and I'll see you guys in the next video, man. We out. Ooh, if see what I'm coming in The inside caramel just like a honey grin Call my phone, hit my line Only ones who down for real, down for life Keep it super thug my way on this side Keep it super thug my way on this side Call my phone, hit my line